Frontview.org article review is a chance to spotlight recent information that didn't garner enough attention from the mainstream media. Hopefully by adding a creative style to dry boring text and introducing the work of experts in the field, this deserves more of an in-depth summary and evaluation of the significance this information has to the public. V-blogging a recent article from frontview.wordpress.com, the title reads, Simple tasks like plucking the stem off cherries are still monumental challenges for artificial hands. With a bill of materials perhaps a few hundred components long, it is not surprising that their functionality is low compared with one assembled from trillions of components. A new prosthetic bionic hand, designed and built by research at Case Western University, is now capable of using measurements from 20 sensor points to control the grip force of its digits. Incredibly, the sensor data is linked directly to the sensory nerves in the patient's forearm. The control for grip, closure, is then extracted molecularly from the normal biological to return loop, the muscles in the forearm. The key to making this device work is an instrument known as a cuff electrode. While these electrodes have been under development for decades for use as stimulators for the optic nerve, it has been difficult to get them to reliably stimulate axons for intended periods of time. The new cuffs used here are able to target individual groups of axons without actually penetrating the protective sheaths that segregate particular groups of them. As you can see in the picture below, a nerve has an optic cross-section where individual channels exchange members continuously along their length. When multiple cuffs are eventually used in the same nerve, this particular feature of nerve bundles will come in handy because it provides a way to target different axons at different points in the nerve. If, for example, the first cuff stimulates more axon than is actually desired, the second cuff could, at least in theory, provide sub-threshold currents to shunt particular axons that can be better targeted at a second cuff, in effect acting as firefighters do when they initially burn section areas to preempt the advance of an out-of-control forest fire, only a lot faster. In the forearm, there are three major nerves, the median, radial, and ulnar which both connect motor and sensory axons with various funiculi. Just to clarify, a nerve bundle, or funiculus, is termed composed of several small nerve funiculi. For now, the researchers use just one cuff per nerve, with the data from the 20 sensory points shared between them. The key to targeting axons deep in the interior nerve is to fillet them out like the headers on a ribbon connector by using a flat cuff instead of the traditional round design. It appears the nerve can handle the seeming trauma because the two patients outfitted with these devices have shown good performance now for 18 months. We just heard that the world's first cyborg, Neil Harbinson, has the cybernaut status minted with the government seal of approval. He is even permitted to have this passport photo taken with his head-mounted hardware. Provided this new bionic hand continues to function for the long haul, it seems at least two more names might soon be added to this list. If you like what you see and want to see more videos like this, please subscribe or follow us on frontview.org.